What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back with another channel message. I hope everyone is doing okay. But I'm picking up on a baby mama who she had that one child by her baby daddy and she just ain't never been able to let it let it go since then, okay? This baby mama, the baby we talking about is a full grown child, okay? But she is just obsessed with her baby father. She becomes obsessed with anybody that he talks to. She tries to befriend anybody that he talks to currently or even used to date. She suddenly become buddy buddy. She become buddy buddy with every bitch her baby daddy has hooked up with. Okay, I think this is why. <laughs> and it's really because she still has this overflowing cup of love for her child's father now. But he not reciprocating. Okay? He ain't never reciprocated. And like I said, this baby they got together is a full-grown child. And she still is caught up in illusions regarding this man, okay? So Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this situation, this energy here that I just picked up on? I mean, like she literally buddies up with any woman that she even thinks that her baby daddy has been connected to or may even wanna be connected to. They become besties, honey, okay? She ain't going for it. I don't know why she does that. I'm looking, I'm seeing her like she, look, instead of just moving on to calmer waters, this woman tries to hook up and befriend any woman that is associated with her baby father, this King of Pentacles here, okay? I'm not sure why. I can't even get it out. This is what she do now. She be watching his life and trying to decide who he is connected to. And then she she goes on a mission to try to befriend this woman. Okay? And she put she she does it like she makes it seem like she's being the higher, more ex exalted woman by befriending the girlfriend of her child's father but again we have to look at the facts here the fact of the matter is this ain't even no baby that they share this is a grown child that can contact their father without her interference okay it's no connection there with that so there's really no reason why you have to be friendly with your baby daddy's girlfriends because it's not like y'all co-parenting or anything. I mean, it's like weird because you would think that they got a little baby together. With this son card, you would think she just had a baby and maybe they about to revive their relationship, which is why she's so pressed. Okay, but that's not the case at all. And she really tries to make herself look like she's the better woman, the the woman of higher moral character. It's something like that here, that she does this to, that she thinks that when she does this, when she hooks up with her baby daddy's ex-girlfriends and stuff like that to be friends with, she thinks this makes her look more mature or like she really not worried about him because she can be friends with women that he used to be with or he currently is with. But in actuality, this woman be ready to fight all them hoes, okay, about this King of Pentacles. She be ready to go in on them. But it's it's the vibe of keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, okay? That's what she be on, y'all. Because she be worried about him starting a passionate new beginning with somebody else. So if she's friends with the bitch, then she can have the inside scoop, or at least be able to know what's going on with him. Because at the end of the day, she really wants this King of Pentacles. She's always wanted him. But he's always kept her in some form of third party. Okay? Because he is some type of inner emperor energy. 
he he can pull him now because of his the weight he hold and she knows that so the only way that she can be in the mix is if she cool and kiki with the women that he hooks up with or that he has hooked up with in the past this is a this is her way of trying to deal with the mental conflict that she experiences about this man who has never, this man has never fully committed to this woman, okay? And like I told y'all, this baby that they share together, this is a grown child. I am seeing a grown, big old child, like at least 18 to 20 plus years old, okay? This is not anybody that she is still co-parenting with on a daily basis. They don't even have nothing to co-parent about because the grown child makes contact with the father about whatever they need. I'm telling you, it's that. It's like that. But for some reason, you're going to see her ass pop up with an ex or a current beau of this King of Pentacles. I don't see how he deal with that shit. With this five pentacles, that shit would have me like, what the fuck? I mean, I know people see this, okay? I be wondering, do people wonder if people see y'all? Just see the shit that you be doing. Do people wonder? I be wondering about that. Or either they don't care. A lot of people don't care. They don't care what nobody got to say about the crazy shit that they do. The asinine shit they do. And she one of them. Okay, because I'm telling y'all, she buddy up. She be buddying up, boy, with these women. And it's interesting to me, I'm telling you, because he's some type of divine masculine. He's some type of emperor, divine masculine energy, okay? A lot of women want to be attached to this man. A lot of women have tried to be attached to this man, okay? And... I don't really feel like anyone has fully been able to completely reel him in. It's that type of vibe. So when she goes and she tries to buddy up with these, these different women that he has been with, it's like she's trying to get some type of insight into what he likes, what he does with them, how he interacts with these other women. You know, it's something she's trying to find out the truth about him because this baby mama, she don't really know her baby daddy like that. Like they have this connection, 808 on the phone. They have a child together that they did raise together, not raised in the same home together, but they did co-parent and raise this child, okay? They co-parented to raise this this child but she don't really know her baby daddy okay that's what i'm trying to tell y'all it's like she ain't never been in a position where they could actually grow and have something and build something with their child okay she always kind of been always has kind of been on the outs so her way to stay in the loop is to get buddy buddy with every other bitch he fuck with, which is kind of wild because she's taking a major risk to do this, okay? It ain't no coincidence that you kiki and be cool and start buddying up with every woman, almost every woman, any every woman that she can make contact with and that'll go for it. Now, some of these women ain't with that shit because they can see her bullshit from a mile away. And why would you want to be, I, I don't get that. We ain't got to have no beef, but we ain't got to be besties either. Like how, how are you, a lot of these women though, I'm getting, cause I'm trying to understand their logic for even wanting to be friends with their ex's baby mama. But their logic, cause some of them are even cool with her while they're messing with him. So it's not, it's not about when they break up with him, they want to go team up with her and go against him. It's nothing like that, okay? What I'm getting is they feel like if they, I'm, I'm getting that 
a lot of them feel like if they're cool with her, then maybe that's going to give them some brownie points with him. But they they missing the mark completely with that. 10-10 ten, ten on the phone. Okay, with this page of wands energy. Because he may have made a love offer to her in the past. Okay? But he's currently making a love offer to you in the present. So what, what sense do it make that you worried about somebody in his past? A situation that he has laid to rest. Just because she ain't laid to rest on me, he hadn't. Okay, this man has laid this situation, this any type of relationship dynamic that he had with this baby mama, that's been over with. Been over with. This man is single and ready to mingle with whoever he want to mingle with and been doing it, okay? Now, remember how I was saying that some of these women don't be on board with this book, this funky bullshit, this baby mama be up to? Some of these women ain't with that. Like this Queen of Wands, Empress Energy here, okay? Some of these women can't even, she can't even get them on the phone. She can't even get them to look her way. And this Queen of Wands and this Empress, this is two different people. I'm picking up that these are two different women, okay? Both of these women don't play the radio with this baby mama because they know she a karmic. They know she up to no good. They know her behavior is toxic. And that she really is just in love with this emperor. Okay? He definitely in divine masculine. He out here in every form. Every damn form. The king of wands. The king of cups. The king of swords. And the damn... Um, the king of wands. The king of cups. Cups. The king of swords. I'm missing something, y'all. Oh, he ain't out here as the king of pentacles yet. But he out here as the emperor. Oh, he coming. No, he he came out as the King of Pentacles as the second card. Child, I'm tripping. That's why I'm saying this a this a boss man here, okay? This somebody that everybody want to be attached to. If a woman, a lot of women want to be associated with him, okay? And I am picking up that some of these women do be cool with this baby mama because they think she got some kind of inside scoop. But this Queen of Wands... And this empress here, they ain't going for that shit. And she don't like them, child. Because they don't play that game with her. We have the Page of Pentacles. And they don't play that game with her because they know what time it is. They know her plan. Her plan is to get infiltrate whatever female this emperor is dealing with to somehow stop her interaction with that man. So that he can be somewhat free to one day, hopefully, possibly, commit to this baby mama child. She been waiting for that karmic cycle between them to end for decades. Okay? But she going to continue to be in the tower with this little scheme she got to be friends and buddy-buddy with every bitch that he talked to. Because he's going to continue to A the cups her ass. This man is not going back towards this woman to ever be with her ever again. It's that type of vibe. Okay? Maybe at one point, like I said, maybe at one point in the past he did offer her love. And they had a child together. But that's neither here nor there at this point. Okay? She's still holding on to some shit that ain't gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. 1414 14 on the phone. This man is going to continue to uphold these boundaries that he has. He got boundaries between him and this baby mama now. Please believe. They cool, but she don't have the access to him like you would think she do. For all the extra shit she be doing, kicking with these other women that he deal with. And I just find that so weird. That is weird to me. I mean, I don't understand the women who, even if they feel like she got some kind of inside scoop, how you think you finna have a victory? How you think you finna be in the four of wands with this emperor and you are kicking and hanging out and spending time with his baby mama? 
Like, and, and it ain't even no baby mama that he got a new baby by that you trying to get along with and y'all trying to be there for the child. It ain't even that type of vibe. I'm telling y'all, this child is grown, 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 out here taking care of and providing for themselves type of grown, okay? She can't use that as no excuse for her behavior. And I think she has tried to use that excuse that excuse before with this six of wands. Because I'm telling you, people see this, people notice that. That shit ain't no motherfucking coincidence that you buddy buddy with every other woman that your baby daddy talked to. Child boo. I don't know who these people think they be fooling. But this queen of wands and this empress ain't going. And this queen of wands, to me, it's giving me that this may be who he currently is dealing with, okay, with this Knight of Wands energy. This is this Queen of Wands is who he's currently trying to have a triumph with. He's currently been moving towards this energy in a passionate way, in a way to get to know her, okay? That's why she's not even engaging with this baby mama. She ain't even doing it. This Empress energy this empress here is giving me that this empress was this empress divine counterpart, okay? Now, he coming up single right now, so it's obvious that he not with this empress. But it's just letting me know that she don't, she don't fool in with this situation. None of this. I don't even, she she's coming up as his divine counterpart, but these two people are on the outs right now because of this karmic baby mama here. This devil energy is this baby mama, okay? This baby mama has stirred up a lot of illusions, tried to get a lot of shit start, started. She one of them ones that like to post subliminals and shit like that, okay? To get shit started, but she knows she can't say too much, 1717 on the phone, because she don't want this emperor baby daddy energy to not ever fuck with her. Like I said, they still cool, but he got certain boundaries up with her because he know what time it is with her. He knows she try to come in acting like, you know, she she cool and everything all good, but he knows she really coming in to cause destruction. He knows this. This man ain't slow, but he don't feed into it because he knows if he even says anything to her about it, then that's giving her the upper hand. She's getting justice somehow because she'll know that her actions are affecting him. And he don't want her to know that, okay? He don't want her to know that she she is slightly aggravating him and irritating him by trying to go be cool with everybody that he used to fuck with and that he still fuck with. Excuse me, I had to drink me some water on that, child. It's kind of sickening, but I feel like this situation is going to be balanced out soon. Like, this Queen of Wands, this current energy here. Oh, she already been gathering intel on the new bitch, okay? Please believe that. She didn't gathered up intel on whoever this Queen of Wands is. And she's trying to figure out how she can slide on in there with her and if she can't slide on in there with her because she ain't gonna be able to i'm telling you right now i'm picking up this queen of wands ain't going she ain't with that bullshit okay she ain't trying to be kiki and cool with you for no reason because she know you still would fuck your baby daddy every chance you could get if that man told this devil karma energy right now that he wanted her and let's go take a trip out of town, her ass would be running to meet up with him, okay? However many decades later after this child been born, this, this woman don't care. This man has always been who she wanted to be with, always. Always been who she wanted to be with. And she ain't let up yet, child. Even though this man has refused her love time after time after time after time. I'm telling you, I'm picking up that this man that played in this baby mama face with about a hundred bitches over the years. 
and she still ain't got the memo that you need to give up this effort to try to somehow get him to one day to commit to you and move on. She still ain't got the damn memo, okay? That it ain't happening. He ain't going. So you need to go, okay? Because he ain't coming in your direction to rekindle or rebuild or establish anything with you. He ain't. She needs to realize this. With this star card, she thinks that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And that light at the end of the tunnel, I don't even know if y'all just heard that train. She feel like the light at the end of the tunnel is her finally one day having a victory with her baby daddy, this emperor here. But the truth of the matter is, is that he ain't never going to have no victory with you because he don't want to. It That's just what it is. Okay, she really needs to get clarification about his true intentions for her because she's really like warped, delusional. It's delusional to go and befriend your ex's, all of your ex's romantic interest to somehow still be seemingly be connected to him. 2121 was just on the phone. That's delusional. It's like she want people to think that she's in the loop with him and whoever he dates because she wants people to think that they are still cool like that, that her and him have some type of friendship dynamic that doesn't really exist, okay? That's not really the case at all. She wants it to, y'all hear that confirmation? She wants it to appear like him and her are, still cool and she's in the loop and everybody is all one love mesh happy vibe family type thing this was she this was she on y'all this her scheme child with the seven of swords but it's weird because again there's no child <laughs> there is a child but the child is grown so it's like what are you doing what are you doing two 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 on the phone you definitely need to balance yourself. Temperance is out here because the shit's starting to look a little mental health concerning, okay? It's that type of vibe. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth, all right? This baby mama needs to pull back from this effort of trying to rush in and rush in at every romantic interest her baby daddy has and try to befriend them this is her ass she come in hard like right now she gave i'm telling y'all she gained it she gathering intel on this queen of wands okay because she probably has already tried to like befriend it like i'm getting like maybe add them on social media she's already tried to start kicking with this new romantic interest of her baby daddy she's tried it that's the, that's the key word the key word here is tried but this queen of wands ain't with it okay so she's trying to get insight on how she can collaborate with her so she can still be connected to him y'all this is her game this is her mo this is crazy <laughs> Well, she's stuck on him. She is stuck like Chuck on her baby daddy. But I'm telling you, I'm just getting this energy like something is going to end with all of this that she's been doing. I don't know if he's going to finally just blow up on her ass and be like, look, stop acting crazy. We don't fuck around with each other anymore. Our child is grown. We ain't got shit to talk about nor co-parent about. Stop trying to be cool with all my bitches. I feel like maybe he's going to express that to her. But she's going to be in the Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles for some reason. It's coming. It's got something to do with this Queen of Wands. Okay? This Empress over here minding her business, child, she don't got time. As long as this Empress is still engaging in all this type of shit or having all this type of shit going on around him because he ain't put his foot down yet with this karmic devil baby mama okay this is why this has went on so long he ain't fucking with her he ain't giving her the energy she want in return 
but he has not said to her, stop trying to be friends with all of my women. He ain't said that to her. He is not, but I feel like it's coming because I feel like she's about to try to take it too far with this Queen of Wands energy that is not willing to connect with her because he loves this Queen of Wands here. It's something about this Queen of Wands energy. Okay? This man is this man care. I ain't gonna say he loves her, but he does care for this Queen of Wands. And I feel like he's trying to possibly establish something solid with this Queen of Wands, which he's not going to be able to do if he got baby mama all around like a damn cackling hen trying to get in good with his new boo, okay? This man finna check her. I'm getting that energy. He finna finally tell her, look, stop stop doing this. This shit looks sick of you, on your behalf, okay? It looks like you got some type of obsession with me, with this devil card. She's very obsessed with him, very obsessed with him. But she needs to turn her back to this scheme that she's been operating for years now this woman been doing this for years for years and it's just crazy to me that's how you know these women in his past that he don't fuck with no more that she did this with they karmics okay and what they not realizing is that they showed this emperor divine masculine energy that they karmic by even befriending his baby mama on the pretense that she might know something about him or be able to help them their chances with him in some way these karmic women think that this is why they ain't got him no more okay following her dumb ass up so they showed their hand by even befriending and engaging with this baby mama Cause he looking at them like, well, I guess I can't fuck with you like that. I can still probably fuck you, but I'm not going to ever take you serious because you engaging in with this foolishness, foolishness, my baby mama on by even being cool with her and kicking with her and acting like y'all buddy buddies. When you know that she just really want to be with me and move you out the way instead. And if you can't, get that if you don't realize that then you ain't smart enough for me anyway now this is what this emperor of mine has been on that's why he ain't even gave this devil baby mama energy no babe he ain't even gave her no energy because he she helping him weed him out unconsciously he still ain't gonna fuck with her but he's seeing what what type of woman that he has connected to to even go and do some shit like that, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know regarding this baby mama and this whole situation? He not finna let her do, pl try to pull this shit with this Queen of Wands. And let me tell you what else I'm getting. This Here we go. If she can't get them to befriend her and be cool with her, she starts a smear campaign, a hate campaign on the woman. Okay? The woman becomes her the woman that she can't get to be her friend becomes her arch enemy. All right? Because what she when when that happens, she realizes, oh shit, maybe this woman really do love him. And maybe he do really love her. And that's why she's not letting me infiltrate. Because she has decided, they both have made a decision that they're going to be together and they don't want any type of hiccups, i.e. me, or the bullshit that I'm trying to come into the picture with because these people want to have a ten of cups together. So they're not going to let me, this queen of wands most especially, is not going to let me come in and cause any form of betrayal by buddying up with me. Okay, because she can see my game from a mile away. I'm telling you, this Queen of Wands, she ain't with it. She ain't going. She know what time it is. And she want the Wheel of Fortune to turn in her favor with this Emperor. So she not even entertaining this baby mama in the least little bit. Okay? 
But I'm telling y'all, this this emperor is about to let his this devil karmic baby mama know that he knows she been stuck on him. And he knows that she's been trying to be a third party in any way she can to the women that he deals with. But he is serious about this queen of wands that he's about to make into his queen of pentacles. Okay, so that they can build a life together and have a bond. So do not try to communicate with her in any way. With this eight of wands here, don't try to move forward to her. Don't try to connect with her. Don't try to add her on Facebook. Don't try to befriend, befriend this woman at all because she already know what time it is with you because I let her know that you are trying to infiltrate. I didn't already let her know she don't need to be trying to kiki with you about shit because me and you ain't got shit going on. That baby that you keep referencing is a full grown child, okay? And this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles energy here, this is my new love choice that I'm going to put in work with, with this Eight of Pentacles, okay? 3113 on the phone. So you need to go somewhere, get over it, cry, cry as much as you need to cry, have your pity party, but you need to let this obsession with me go, okay? And manifest something new for your life because it ain't going to be me. Okay, and he finna close the door indefinitely on this baby mama energy. All right, and he's gonna feel very satisfied when he does it. He gonna be feeling relieved when he closes his door for good on this baby mama. Cause I'm telling y'all, he been trying to be nice and he been trying to be cordial. He been trying to be respectful because they do share a child together. But he tired of her shit. He is tired of her shit. He is tired of trying to work with her antics and hold his tongue and not say anything. Because he is not going to miss out on this Nine of Pentacles energy that has recently come into his life. And he knows that if he continues to deal, let this baby mama thinks she can behave in this way when it comes to him without at least saying something and putting his foot down it's going to ruin his chances with this queen of wands queen of pentacles nine of pentacles energy this is the same woman he want to make her into his queen of pentacles okay but she is bold brave and beautiful and she ain't going for that bullshit and he know it i have used every deck card in the deck <laughs> So I guess I'm going to close the reading here. I do hope this message helps someone, but always remember if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.